Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Inês and I'm an artist and illustrator. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I do an ink drawing using tone paper. So for me, the benefit of using tone paper is that I can go lighter than the paper and also darker. And I really enjoy that sort of um, expression. So for my paper, I will use the Strathmore toned gray mixed media, this one. For my inks, I'm gonna use the very different types of markers from different brands and also uh, India ink um, pens. I'm gonna use from Farber Castle um, Albrecht Dury um, watercolor marker. I'm sorry, I'm butchering the names, but like this type of markers with two thicknesses. I have these uh, in like four or five different shades, ones that are lighter than the others and with different undertones. Um, I'm gonna use also uh, some Ecoline watercolor markers uh, with the brush pen as well, because I have them here. And I use for the blending actually uh, an Ecoline blender. It's basically a marker without any ink in it, but it helps not to leave the big strokes in the paper. I also have some like uh, India ink brush pens. I don't know the the name of this, uh, the actual brand, I totally forgot. But I will look for it, I know it's a Japanese brand and it's from Japan, so I will link this down below and you can search it and buy if you want. And for the highlights I will use the Jelly Roll marker and also this is a bit of a sheet sheet because I don't have any I don't have any uh, white ink with me, so I will use acrylic wash to do some washes of white for some highlights that I want to do. If you are interested to see how the the drawing will look, make sure you keep watching the video. Drawing on tone paper has been a go-to since I ever discovered it. I love to have the opportunity to do highlights and not just leave the white of the paper shine through. I start by choosing my supplies and do a quick sketch of the drawing. Then I start outlining the character with a brush pen. I start blocking out the form shadows to start creating volume. I also use a Ecoline blender pen to smooth the edges of the shadows. I go back and forth with the highlighting and adding extra shadows because since I'm building the volume of the character, it's easier for me to just go back and forth in terms of different values. I used a big pen to do some details, however, I think next time I might just use my normal Micron Pigma pens that I also use here. For some reason, the big pen has a weird shine, which I'm not particularly fond of. 
Then I do a wash of acrylic wash uh, to create a sort of a light source. I add more detailing to the elephant's skin and features. I start adding cast shadows and adding values to the floor and natural elements like the rocks and grass. I use my markers and blender and basically I just, I really love, I, I cannot say this enough, I really love this blender because it really allows me to blend the ink without being streaky and um, it really smooths the edges of the, the paint and I really like that effect, so for me, I think it really makes a, a big difference for my painting. I decided to add a little mouse to the composition because it adds a layer of storytelling to the, to the composition. So for me, uh, it just made sense to add this little character, even though it's very small and almost not noticeable, it's still there. And I love to add these tiny little details to my paintings. I start adding more grass to the background to complete the composition and give a better frame to the character. It always looks like a mess in the beginning, but trust the process. Um, I just outline the shape that I want to do and then just add a few details, uh, highlights and shadows and in the end it will make sense. <laughs> so if it happens to you and starts looking not so good, don't panic, it will look better once you've finished all the process. Trust me, uh, it happens to me all the time. Even me doing this, knowing what I wanted to do, I was still afraid to just paint and dive in. So what I tend to do is just think about what is the worst thing that can really happen. The worst thing that can happen is you having to start again. It's not the end of the world, it's just a drawing. It's a way of learning, it's a way of experimenting. So yeah, if you ever just feel like you are afraid to ruin a painting, just do it. Um, and then maybe it will even turn out even better than you ever expected. I add little white particles to the air and I think it looks very good and completes the picture. So this is the final result of the picture. Um, I really enjoy this, uh, as I said before, toned paper is one of my go-tos because it allows me to really bring characters and compositions to life and give it a lot of volume without doing a lot of effort, just because you can add that extra highlighting and for me, it really works. So I hope you liked the, the video and the illustration. This is the final result. I decided to use the elephant as my main character because I really love elephants. It's one of my favorite animals ever. It's, I consider it my spirit animal. And I like butterflies as well, as you can see. Uh, for me, they symbolize um, freedom and hope and possibilities. I also added a little uh, mouse uh, to add uh, a level of interaction that we don't really know what can be. I always try to, to do some sort of storytelling with my compositions, but that would be, it would be very fun for me if you could leave down below in the comments what is your interpretation of my piece, because for me it's very interesting to, to know um, what other people think about what I've drawn, what's the meaning for them, 
and compare it to my own uh, thoughts behind it. So if you could and if you feel like it's something that you, you could share, uh, make sure to, to write down below in the comments. Thank you so much for, for watching the video and supporting the channel. Uh, I, may, I will make sure I see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye.